Today we're going to be unboxing and doing the initial setup on a Hondex HE773 second version DI a sonar. This is a fish finding sonar for scanning around the boat near the surface. Uh, it's different from traditional sounders that are generally intended to be uh, any downwards for fish. So if you're trying to find fish near the surface, this is the machine. Uh, I'm the distributor in the Northeast USA. Uh, you can find a list of dealers at hondexne.com. For elsewhere in the world, visit hondex.co.jp. One very important part of the setup is to configure the electronics for the transducer provided. In this case, the transducer came with a tag that said 290 kilohertz and scan port C. Uh, the electronics are probably made for a bunch of different transducers, so it's important to configure it for the transducer that you're using with it. Uh, there's also an interesting uh, clamp that goes onto the connector uh, for the transducer on the back of the machine. It uses a metal clip with a wing nut to attach it at the top. Uh, this is a little more vibration resistant than some other methods of mounting, and um, the, it's very straightforward to how that snaps in there and the wing nut tightens down and that's how it's held in place. Now when you start the machine up for the first time it will go through configuration where you select 290 kilohertz and um, C just as we saw on the label here. The transducer element has motors in it which rotate the uh, ultrasonic sensor in the direction which the sonar is scanning and also the up and down angle for the direction elevation underwater. There's also a sector adjustment control where you can change the direction of scan from a 360 degree circle to something less. Uh, perhaps you can't scan in all directions or you want to spend uh, less time scanning in all directions so you can have quicker scans and a smaller angle of scanning if that was useful to you. Another way to use the sonar is, a, is to have four different displays showing four different angles downwards from the boat. Zero being near the surface and 90 being straight down. If you're looking for fish near the surface you probably want to choose smaller numbered angles. Uh, these angles have letters which you press on the control to adjust those angles just as I'm showing in the video here. The beam width is about 15 degrees and that will help you choose the right angles to not miss anything in the water that you're fishing for. Everything seems to be working great so we'll box it up and send it off to the customer. Thanks for watching.